This is the one thing that I do to guarantee success for my ADHD and for working with a lot of my patients and clients. This is such a game changer for them. And it's very simple. And so it starts off with a very simple diagram that I have applied a lot to my life that has made this make sense anytime that I'm struggling with any kind of ADHD symptom that I'm experiencing. And so if we think about what are we trying to achieve with our ADHD, whether that's, you know, better focus, better, you know, motivation, drive, whatever, it's basically what is our destiny. And so I'm going to explain this and I'll show you how this applies specifically when it comes to any of your kind of ADC symptoms that you are experiencing when you're wanting to have success. So when it comes to our destiny, whatever that is that we want to achieve to have better focus, more motivation, maybe be more healthy, have better routines, whatever it is. Okay. It always starts with associations. So associations are things like the things that we listen to. It's things, the people that we hang out, the things that we watch, the things that we read, all those things are associations because those associations will lead into our thoughts. And then those thoughts will lead into our actions. And then those actions will lead into our habits. And then one more here, then our habits will lead into our character. And then the character will lead into our destiny of what we are trying to achieve. So bear with me, I'm going to give you examples of how this applies to guarantee your success with your ADHD. So let's say one of your symptoms and things that you've been struggling with is being disorganized and messy. And that's very you know common amongst people with ADHD. And and myself included. So to kind of give you this context of how I applied this in my life, I am definitely a messy person. It's just something that is very common with ADHD. I just am not very good at organizing things or keeping things at a very clean space. But things did change when I started going to college. And in one of these situations, I was in a house amongst of other people that we shared a kitchen and a lot of living space. And so this changed my association right from the get-go of the people that I was with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the thing that was different about this is that every single one of these people were clean freaks, like extremely clean freaks. And here I'm coming in, someone that is a messy and disorganized ADHD person that I just by being with them started to change my association, which then started changing my thought process of about when it came to clean, having a clean space. And then of course that led into my actions because my consequences of my old behaviors would lead into very unhappy roommates. And so I had to start changing my actions, which then led into a lot of habits that I started to form, which then led into my character, which then led into my destiny of not being disorganized anymore. I became more organized. Uh, I became more clean because I was in more of this space because I was in this space with the association of the people that were clean freaks. Okay. So that's one example. Another example is procrastination, which, you know, every ADC person suffers with this, myself included. But where it started to change was when I was going into medical school and I realized I had to change things that I was doing differently because medical school was different. So I realized that my association, I had to change really the people I hung out with, also the things that I read, I listened to, and what I watched and the advice that I took from other people. And so I realized, okay, if I'm going to do that as I'm going to medical school, I need to start hanging out with different people. And I had to look for the top A students that understood that you have to, specific, you can't procrastinate. You have to stay on top of these things. So I would study with them. I would hang out with them. I would eat and breathe what they would read and listen to so that I would not procrastinate and so that I could be successful in medical school. And so that led into my thoughts of the way I was thinking. I started thinking like them. I started doing a lot of the same actions a lot of the daily routines, so that which led into my habits that I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I was getting up early to study just like they did. Uh, sometimes I would study on the weekends like they did instead of going hang out with a bunch of friends, which then led into a lot of my character and then led into my destiny of really eliminating the procrastination, which then ultimately helped me really get through medical school and not failing through it. If you want my full ADHD health guide protocol, then you should download my ADHD health guide and that's in the description below. Another example is the difficulty of lack of motivation 
and also drive. So this is definitely very common amongst people with ADHD to dealing with this. And so where I have seen a big difference of my motivation and drive to becoming a high achiever, which that was my more of my destination, especially to be successful of what I did and the craft that I did in the career options and the business that I chose to do. The only thing that I realized that I needed to do was change my association. And being by yourself and lonely by yourself, it makes it very difficult to possibly even achieve that. And so what I had to do is is like I did before. I had to hang out with people that were high achievers. And sometimes this meant to paying for coaching or services of other successful people just so I could rub shoulders with them and understand how they thought, how understand how they did things, their actions, and then how they formulated habits and routines, which led into who they were as a character and to the destiny of their success. And so I started to emulate that and realize that it started to work. It started to help me to be more motivated and more driven because I started with the associations. It always starts with associations if you're wanting to change the trajectory of your life, especially when it comes to your ADC symptoms you're experiencing. When you're wanting to formulate good habits and routines, you have to associate and eat and breathe this stuff. Read, listen, watch, whatever it takes is it always starts with associations. Now, one other thing that I think is really important to understand about this is what about the opposite effect? So what happens if you do something that you don't want, like the destiny that you don't want to have? Well, typically, again, that star still starts with associations. So are there pessimistic people that you're hanging out with? Are you watching videos that are not very uplifting? Are you reading things that are not very uplifting? Are you listening to music or listening to talk shows or whatever that are not uplifting? And one thing would be the news. I don't ever find that the news is ever uplifting. It's always about negative things and how the world is so negative and everything like that. And this is where you get into this vicious cycle of where those associations lead into your bad thoughts, a way of thinking pessimistically, then lead into your actions of not really doing much or creating just more bad habits that lead into your character and then lead into the destiny that you did not desire, which is probably more depressed, sad, pessimistic, not very happy and not happy with your life. So if you want to change the trajectory, if you don't like where you're at, you don't like where your ADHD situation is, always start it with associations. If you can change your associations of who you hang out with, who you're with, what you watch, what you listen to, I guarantee you, you will start to see over time that your destiny output and your outcome of your ADHD life will change for the better if you do this correctly. Now, along those same lines, there are still other internal things that can make it difficult for your HD brain to work at its full capacity that it needs to. And this has to do a lot with your body chemistry. Sometimes the body chemistry is way off, so it's very difficult to implement good habits and routines. So you should watch this video next where I talk about my three-step system of how to eliminate your HD symptoms for good and what I do with my patients and clients to do so. So watch this video next.